The 1999 playoff win over Buffalo was the Music City Miracle Game. The 99 AFC Championship win was about beating Jacksonville for a third time. The win in between those two at Indianapolis, that was Blaine Bishop's game. Blaine Bishop had already made three Pro Bowls when the 1999 playoffs arrived. He was established, he was respected. But when January 16th, 2000 arrived, all he could feel was the need to prove himself one more time. As Blaine went home to Indianapolis, he was filled with memories from his Cathedral High School days, winning a state championship, seeing family and friends who knew him by his nickname, Woody, seeing Father Patrick Kelly. Brought a lot of excitement and it brought a lot of memories. So I got to the stadium and I walked around it. You know, nobody was hardly on the field. And I see uh, Father Kelly, who was our principal at my high school. You know, we were just going back and forth. And he said, man, uh, who would have thought that the guy we called Woody uh, in high school uh, would be in the National Football League? And I said, well, I've been on this field a lot. He said, yeah, we, we probably should have won twice, right? He said, I said, yeah. And I said, this feels like home. I'm pretty comfortable. It's going to be a great day. It was beyond a great day. It was a dominant day. He was in the zone. And when the guy's in the zone, you just watch and marvel at what he's able to accomplish. Blaine blew up plays in the backfield and he made sure that Indy's receivers heard footsteps down the field. As the game went on, it became obvious Blaine Bishop was on a mission. He was taking over this game from safety spot. Wow. There's a side in this game that I've never done ever in a game, and that was when my chin strap got knocked off. I made a, I think he was throwing to the tight end, and I, I made a PBU. I sh should have picked it, but I ran so fast, and I didn't know I was going to get there that quick, and then I undercut the tight end on a play, and then my helmet kind of got knocked up. So I took it off, and I said, I am the best. I had never done that in a game. I don't even know why, but reason why I did that, only reason why I did that is because for whatever reason, I knew Father Kelly was standing right there where I was. And I turned around and said to him, I am the best. Wait, but it's a long, long time. Baby, everybody who's been playing here, been playing since Little League, you want to be right here. This is where you want to be, this is the ultimate, baby. 11 tackles and two passes defensed. The stats didn't tell the story. One of the NFL's most dominant offenses was stymied by the presence of number 23. You know, we see the, the offense sees him out there playing his behind off against a trio that was pretty nasty. Like Marvin Harrison, Edwin James, Peyton Matt, and they had the bye week. They had a great year. So, you know, uh, we were supposed to, I guess, lose that game by, what, 10 points or, or more? Um, but there, he was a fighter. We felt every, we felt every play that he made, and we responded to that. So. Um, when Blaine had the game that he had, man, we, we just rode his coattail, his energy, his spunk, and, um, and found a way to win that ball game. Blaine Bishop has had a lot of great days for this franchise, but this was the best. It was one of the best defensive performances in Titans history. It was Blaine's game.